taking a blood oath with someone means swearing your lives to each other by declaring certain promises and using each other's blood. The blood binds the covenant for life. There's someone peeping through the window. I can't see anyone. I literally saw a dude peeking through the window. You're starting to scare me. I can't see anyone. Okay. Maybe it's a ghost. We are in a science class. Whatever. Would you be free this evening? There's a nice spot I found. They've got this fresh seafood boil. I can already perceive it. We are in a science class. Come on. Haha, <laughs> got you. Are you for real though? Yes, I am, if you don't mind. I don't, I'm down. Alright. This science class is taking forever. Calm down, we're almost done. This was really nice. My new favorite spot moving forward. I knew you would love it. I do, no doubt. I'll be coming here often. So are you gonna tip me? For what? For bringing you here. I'll think about it. Hanging out with another man I see, I can't believe she would stoop so low to be with a low life. It's you and I forever, Courtney, she must have forgotten we are bound by blood. No one goes out of this covenant, no one, I'll be home waiting for you. Are you done? It's getting dark. Yes, almost done. Where are you coming from? Curtis, you scared me. You haven't answered my question. I went out to get some seafood. With who? No one. Let me try again. Who is that guy you went on a date with? I have you on camera, so you don't have to lie. Camera? Are you stalking me? You have a boyfriend and you choose to go out with another dude. I just went out to get seafood, and he's just a friend. You got no female friends, huh? When did you get this obnoxious? Because you've been acting funny these past few weeks, you always got an excuse not to hang out with me. Because I'm busy, schoolwork is hectic and you know that. But you've got time to go eat food with someone else. Please stop this. You must have forgotten that we are in this for life, tied by a blood oath. We are lovers for life. You're starting to scare me. Just because we are in a blood covenant doesn't mean I can't make my own choices in life. I didn't restrict you from other choices, you know the rules of a blood oath. For Christ's sake. We were in love and carried away. You're taking this blood covenant thing too far. Blood covenant is not something you joke with. It's a testament of the love I have for you, and an assurance that I would never leave you. We are bound lovers for life. Please, I had a long day. I need to rest. The guy you saw me with is my course mate. I'm sorry, I love you. I don't appreciate you stalking me, and showing up unannounced. It's scary. I'm sorry, it won't happen again, as long as you stick to the oath. Good night. Aren't you inviting me in? Didn't I just say good night? I'm tired, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be waiting for your call, don't take too long. Is he still there? Oh my goodness, what was that all about? What just happened? This relationship is getting scarier every day, so Curtis is videotaping my movement. How did I get into a blood covenant with Curtis? What was I thinking? Did I truly love him or I was just carried away? Who do I call? Who's in charge here? Are they allowed to leave their place of work? Who's this? Oh Courtney. Hello sister. I'm already at the airport. Something is going on with Curtis. What do you mean? He keeps stalking me, taking pictures of me. I feel like he's threatening me because we had a blood covenant. Excuse me? What did you say? I'm sorry, it was a stupid decision. What were you thinking? I don't know. How do I get out of this? You are a Christian Courtney. Mother didn't raise us this way. Just imagine how disappointed she would be. Please tell me what to do, please. You should be in covenant with God not with man, that's what you should do. 
How do I make a covenant with God? What do I do? I'm weak in the spirit. I'm scared. You need to pray, Courtney. Ask for forgiveness. Cleanse your heart. Tell God you want to have a covenant with him. Go to church. Okay. I have to go. My flight is ready. Call you when I land. Who's there? Curtis. What are you doing here? How did you get in? I have a key, and I was worried about you. I know I offended you. You have a key to my house. Could you please leave? I'm uncomfortable with your presence. Are you sending me out? Get out. I love you. I don't want to harm you. Why would you want to harm me? Get out. What did I get myself into? Lord please get me out of this. Please Lord, I'm sorry. Lord break this covenant. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Please God. Lord from now onwards I'll never leave your presence for any reason. For you to be in covenant with God, you need to be baptized in a Christ-believing church and be born again. Your soul belongs to no man but God. Do not be afraid. I'm on your side. It's morning already. Thank you Jesus for this dream. Now I know what to do. Isn't that Curtis? I'm sorry. Please, stay away from me. I'm fine. I just need you to stay away from me. Where are you headed to? Heading to my sister's. Could I come with you? No Curtis. What you need to do is stay away from me. What church do I go to? I can't even walk without looking over my shoulder. Lord direct my steps. I don't know what church to go to. Hello, please excuse me. Hi there. I saw a poster in front of your church that reads baptism service. Am I allowed as? You're welcome. The Lord led you here. You don't need to be a member of this church before you can be baptized. Your decision to go into a covenant with God through baptism is enough. I'm Pastor Samuel. Nice to meet you. I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you too. Please come with me. Okay. The Lord says, I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you, throughout their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be God to you and your descendants after you. I will make a covenant of peace with them, it will be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them, set my sanctuary in their midst forever. My covenant I will not violate nor will I alter the utterance of my lips. These are the words of the Lord. Amen. You now have a new life in God, old things are passed away. Pastor I have a confession. Go on. It's okay. I did a blood covenant with my boyfriend, and he says it means something spiritual. You don't have to feel ashamed, we've all made mistakes in our past. The most important thing is what we do with our future. And you've made the right steps. Thank you pastor, I feel like a heavy weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're now in covenant with God, which is supreme. Whatever blood covenant or blood oath that you were tied to, has been nullified completely. You're free. Thank you, Pastor. I'm not the one you should thank. Thank you, Jesus, for directing me to your presence. I love you above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to leave your presence, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. I hope this won't be the last time I'll see you. This is just the beginning of my spiritual journey. You will be seeing me often. Good. I love your affirmations. I will be seeing you on Sunday. Yes, Pastor. What is she doing in a church? You cannot run away from me, never. I'll rather die and take you along with me. Our covenant is forever, alive or dead. Where are you coming from? Stop stalking me, you agent of darkness. 
I'm no agent of darkness, I'm the love of your life, what do you mean? I'm no longer in any covenant with you, I'm in covenant with Jesus, I've been baptized. No, no, you can't do this to me, we are in this for life, bound by blood. Curtis please, you need to seek help, this is unusual. I'm in love with you, can't you see? It's very obvious, but it's unhealthy, you need help. I'm perfectly fine, you're the one who needs help. We made an oath together, and here you are, violating it. If me being baptized violates a blood covenant, then that's how it should be. My father was in a blood covenant with my mother, and they are in love, I want the same for us. Curtis, your mum doesn't speak to anyone, she's at home 24-7, you don't see any problem with that. No, what's the problem? I've found Jesus, you need to do the same. You have a troubled heart, only God can heal you. Leave me alone, you're hurting me. You will always be mine even in death. I'll be meeting you in the other world shortly. I'm coming to meet you Courtney, my precious. How are you feeling? Sister, how did you find me? I got a call, so I rushed over immediately. How do you feel? Dizzy. Curtis tried to kill me. Yes he did, but a good Samaritan found you in time and brought you to the hospital. They saw Curtis's dead body right after. He killed himself? Yes. I don't know what got over him. His love was just too much to handle. You mean his obsession? That is not love, but mental illness. Thank you Jesus, thank you for saving my life. I know I'm not in any position to make any more requests but, if you could hear me out, Curtis died without knowing you, if there's any way you could accept his soul, please father, he was a troubled young man, accept his soul Lord, give him eternal rest. Amen. God saved my life. He gave me another chance after I got baptized. I owe him my life. I'm forever in covenant with him. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Never go into a blood covenant or any form of covenant with anyone but God. A man or woman who genuinely loves you will never ask you to be in any blood covenant. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.